my name is Brianna and today I'm here to react to the first episode of the new French SCOM version that has been released. Um, I am a little sick if you can probably hear and the rational part of me knows that like there's no correlation between these two but like part of me thinks that my body is literally rejecting the idea of a new SCOM show that I had to um, get a cold to actually watch it so um, we shall see how it's gonna be. The issue I do have right away that I want to say is I feel like what I loved about SCOM was that it was so isolated from everything else like it was just SCOM and yeah we could follow the actors on their social media and stuff but like other than posting like fan art or being like hey SCOM comes back today watch it like they would stay out of it they wouldn't be like when season four and everyone was getting like annoyed with the plot line they wouldn't be like guys 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 don't worry like stick it out it gets better like they would just let us discover it but on the other hand we already had the girl who's playing the Nora character she posted because everyone's been freaking out about how similar the trailer looks and stuff like that she's like guys don't worry like we had to do these first three episodes just like the Norway version and then it's going to be our own like don't tell me that just like if people are complaining just let them complain and know that like they're going to be surprised after episode three because now I'm anticipating it to change after episode three whereas before I would have been like oh this is cool it's different so like it kind of ruins it for me I feel like I feel like SCOM did such a good job of keeping the actors out of the show and the actors also did a good job themselves of staying out of the show and staying out of kind of people's reactions to the show negative or positive and just let them experience it. I'm just like annoyed with that but let's watch the first clip. Was that the dude from Lord of the Rings? Oh so this first this opening is like exactly like the original okay I kind of wish they had made it more cultured to things that are going on in France but what can you say? <laughs> He's so like one of those kids I feel like that like gets an A and is like, but do you think I could have done better? And you have to like, you can't even like tell him no because she does try to tell him one thing that's wrong and he's like, but it's right. If that's the Ingrid character, or I think it's the Ingrid character, she looks 35. <laughs> like that does not look like a teenager. But then again, Jonas's character doesn't either. I'm, it's going to take me a while to learn their new names so just bear with me when I start calling them by their counterparts. Oh, he has Lucas. Wait, this paper was out of 20 and what's his face? Lucas is like, I got a 14 out of 20. If I got a 14 out of 20, I would be crying. Are scarves the new beanie in this show? That's what I'm picking up on. They don't have beanies, but they're all wearing scarves. Ooh, they're already playing up Lucas so bad as being jealous of her. Snakey snake Isaac. That's one of my favorite things before the show even started. Is someone did a thing on Tumblr about how like a snake is a snake no matter what country. <laughs> That's Isaac. This is just making me miss Isaac and Ava. Like, they're fine, but like, I just, I miss their friendship and I miss the Norwegian friendship, not these two. So I didn't realize it, but I wonder if, <laughs> what was that? All right, pause, pause, pause. So I never realized it, but I wonder if like the reason like, well, I don't remember in the Norway one, if he, if he did encourage her to like talk to the girls, then it was probably like, more subtle than this but like him being like you should talk to Ingrid blah 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 like that's obviously him trying to get her to spend less time with Jonas like he's like um I want my time with Jonas you go spend it with your girls oh Lucas I see right through your game this is a very awkward angle though I don't know why they went with this angle for the kissing I think it's supposed to be intimate but it's just making me dizzy oh dear this doesn't bode well for those other shots that we're gonna have to get because like scum was so good with their cinematography and that was just weird she dresses so cute like that's what I have to say like I like that she has a distinctive style I feel like that's separate from Ava's she's got her own but like it's still very cute oh is that the Vilda character because she's super excited and like we need to do this oh gosh I just have like flashbacks as soon as I hear about it. it's very important to show us off on the right foot like oh oh my gosh oh my gosh is this the ver oh my gosh Igor I love it I love it I love them so much more than the Norwegian version. I don't know why. They just seem like so like, like I could actually see like if I didn't know where the story was going, like her ended up being friends with them instead of like all the other girls because they seem pretty cool. Oh, she's quick. I deleted the invite. Whoops. Can't you see though on Facebook like someone wasn't invited? Like even if you delete it, like you could see like who's invited and stuff. Who are you texting if you don't have any other friends, buddy? Suspicious. Okay, I would be like if you can't come, then you're not coming to the cabin or wherever they're going I would be like that's my condition and if you guys aren't going then you both can go and I'll go by myself or find some new cool friends 
Oh, she looks so annoyed and I love it. <laughs> Lucas is just like, oops, I forgot. <gasps> I, one thing I do love that they made different about um, Emma is she's so much more like assertive and like gets like, says when she's annoyed and stuff like that and when like he's pissing her off and stuff like that. Whereas like Ava was just like very like passive, I feel like, but I feel like that's because she didn't necessarily know what she wanted. I feel like Emma definitely like knows more what she wants. So like she's more um, assured so she can be like, you're pissing me off and be like, not really care. Whereas Ava was worried about losing Jonas, you know? And I'm not saying this is better or worse. I just think it's different and I like that because it kind of adds to it. Like you can see where Emma is different from Ava. Why are they showing Lucas right now? Okay, this makes me so mad and I'm about to get on my soapbox for a second because they did this in season four of Scomp a couple times and it made me so mad. These seasons are supposed to be from the point of views of one character. One character. That means we can't see things that the character wouldn't be able to see. So like I was kind of like, eh, when they, this clip started and they showed Lucas, but then, like, Emma was in the, like, background, so I was like, okay, maybe, like, we're just like, oh, yeah, she could technically see, even though she's not facing that way, but this pisses me off that, like, she should not be seeing Lucas right now, like, they shouldn't be focusing on Lucas right now because she's gone, she wouldn't be seeing this right now, and it makes it totally out of Emma, and, like, I just don't like how... There's already such this focus on Lucas because, like, yeah, Lucas gets his own season and, like, we know stuff is coming, but, like, Scom did it where they made it subtle that Isaac kind of had issues with Jonas and Ava because, like, you would see it when Ava was there. They wouldn't randomly show Isaac looking like, he he he, like this clip right here. Like, literally, and then the music, too, makes him look like he's like, yeah, I'm getting Emma out of the way. Like, what is this? This would not be in her point. This shouldn't be in her point of view because she's not there for it. Subtle, that is the key, not whatever this is. This is more claustrophobic than the uh, party Ava went to at the beginning, I will say. Like, oh, and the lights, jeez, and Louise. <gasps> They're back! Oh my gosh! I love them, I have to say. So she went to this party specifically looking for, um, I don't know what the names of them are in this, but Ingrid and Sarah, like, to make up with them. I will say, the Ingrid character seems like more of a bitch in this one. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I feel like it was like Ingrid was kind of like, just like, second to Sarah, but like, geez, she seems like a bitch in this one. She also looks 30, as I've said. <gasps> I just realized this means Nora's coming. <gasps> She's right there! Nora! Nora! I know her name's not Nora in this, but... That's so cute, so like she wants to be your friend. I like the idea that she knew who she was from Spanish class too, that's cool. Like, she knows who she is, but like Ava's just been like not paying attention. So, I will say, as of now, French bathrooms, judging by this one, not as good as Norwegian bathrooms. I was always impressed with the Norwegian bathrooms. This, um, this looks like a bathroom here. <laughs> I like how they took the idea of Chris and Penetrator Chris having the same name, and rather than giving them both the Chris name, they found another name that works. Like, I'm just hoping the next one is, like, they're both named Sam. He definitely doesn't have the charm so far that the actor who had Penetrator Chris has, but we'll see. Like, I remember when I first watched that scene with Penetrator Chris, he, like, stole the show. Like, he was just so charming and cute and fuckboyish, and that was just, like, eh. This fucking kid, I want to know his backstory. How do you get a party like that? I do like their music choices so far. I think they're pretty, pretty good. They're not bad, you know. Ooh, interesting shot. Stepping into the light. I like that. Oh, it's not the last shot. You could have ended on such a high note for me. Come on, guys. I like that ending. That was cool. I feel like she's kind of like... So, I feel like from what I've got, like I've said before, that I feel like she's very more self-assured than Ava was. Um, I feel like the kind of thing I got from that was like she's kind of making her decision of being like, all right, screw this. Like, she looked pissed off that um, they were having fun at the concert without her, and she's, like, having a terrible time. So I feel like her face at the end was more like, screw this, I'm gonna get my friends back. It, it feels the same but different, which I think is kind of what's expected. I think my biggest issue with it is that it definitely feels more polished than I um, would want it to, and then Scom does. Uh, I think the scene for me that really stuck out, obviously aside from, like, the characters all looking older and more polished, is, um, when she was talking to Lucas in her room and he's on the computer and just like even if you compare like how he looks on the computer like the room he's in 
compared to the room Isaac's in when he's on the computer in the same episode in the same scene like Isaac's just looks so much more realistic in my mind like his looked more like a real room that he was in for a teenage boy and the quality wasn't great like you would with a normal um camera and a laptop like I think theirs just looked again too polished like the camera was too great he kind of looked like he was too I don't know like too put together for how you would in a real thing like I remember Isaac was more laid back and chill and like in different clothes and stuff like that um so yeah I think that's overall just my thing is like it's never gonna feel as genuine and real so far for how SCOM felt for me but that's okay I mean it is interesting and I think the actors are pretty good it's just um Obviously, it's not going to be as great for me as the original, which is what I expected. So, I do like it, though. I mean, it's interesting, and I think it's not something I necessarily, like, if this was the scum I had found, I don't think I necessarily would have stuck with it and loved it as much. But it's good, and it's entertaining, and I'm excited to see where else it goes and to um, see how their version of the story plays out. Because you can definitely see they're tweaking some things, um, and I think the actors are also bringing kind of their own little thing to it, and I feel like... The guy who plays the Jonas um, character, he's definitely, like, I feel like more goofy than Jonas is in the Scum one. I feel like he's making it more goofy. And they're making Lucas out to be way more devious than he was. Like, it was so much more subtle in the last one. But we'll see. So um, if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below. Also, please, please help a girl and tell me how to pronounce their names. Because I don't know at how to pronounce, like, anyone's name in this. Like, I don't know how to pronounce Nora's. I don't know how to pronounce Jonas's help me out. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time for episode two. Bye!